And as Paul mentioned, the face-off game in this one is huge. Brendan Fowler coming in at 65%, third best in the country. Doug Tesoriero for Cornell has won 31 of 49 draws in the NCAA tournament. We are underway from Philadelphia in game one of championship weekend. It's going to get involved. We, we've seen when Pennell gets those five, six, seven assists that it's death from a thousand wounds. Whistle away from the ball. This goes against Duke, so that... So now to Soriero and Fowler once again. Fowler's won the first two, now it becomes three against three. We got a call. Loose, red hole, white ball. Fowler slow to get As up. a sophomore midfielder. Fowler back out there to take the face off against the Soriero. The Soriero comes up with it. The government postseason getting off the bus. They have now outscored the opponents 14 to three in the first quarter in the NCAA tournament. Fowler comes up with it in graduate school and played somewhere else. He could have gone straight to the major league lacrosse for the Lizards, but there was really only one option in his mind while the rest of us, and it's now a one goal game. Red ball, red ball. Violation on Fowler. You watch Cornell operate on offense. You get a short stick on Pinnell or a short stick on Donovan. It's like a horror movie. The Soriero gives Ithaca product. Great article about him this week on ESPN.com that he was on his way to Johns Hopkins until his parents said, can you take a look at Cornell? Shooting Mikey Powell, and they set up a goal in his backyard in Durham, and he'll be out there in the backyard till 2 a.m. with a bag of balls. His senior year, Offit's having, being named to the third-team All-American team earlier this week. Tesoriero wins it on Fowler, gives it now with 50 goals on his junior season. They push it forward. Tesoriero has been giving it up to Pinnell. Here he goes. Pinnell's going to... That. Soriero pushing it forward again. Fowler able to stop him in his track, so it's three on three, but here comes to Soriero and he gives it up to Pell. See eye to eye, and maybe the fastest guy he's had to cover all year. So Duke leading for the first time today. Cornell trailing for the first time in the NCAA tournament. Under a minute to play in the half. Six on six set. Also the aggressive D. He mentioned they're going to continue to take chances, even though Duke has made them pay Dion, a few times. And then he give, gives it up to go to the midfield to get Matthias on the field and make that midfield unit more potent. That was Reedless. I watched him play a ton in high school. That move that he made, reminiscent of Sommer here. Communicating on defense, playing aggressive, offensively sharing the ball. Fowler wins it. Set, good. Fowler wins it forward, gets it over to Dupree. Fowler oh, against the defending champs. That was a great Set. playoff game, good. one of the best we've seen. To Soriero left without the ball, so Fowler wins his 5-2 early in the second quarter. Since then, Duke has outscored Cornell 12-1. Keith can't come up with the ground ball. Mock does. Mock gets to the Playing mind games on the goaltender, Turry. First goal in over 15 minutes. Now it's a three-on-three -three ground ball. Fowler sends it back to Dupree. He goes back to the basic principles. Cornell comeback contingent on Danowski's record. You mentioned Major League Lacrosse. He's a guy that I think the second he steps on the field as a pro is an all-star. A guy who's, you know, destined for, for Hall of Fame type production. So he's won 14 of 26. And Fowler pushes it forward. Runs into Keith. Loses it. And Tesoriero is there to get it back for Cornell. Yeah. Four straight by Cornell. Tesoriero wins it. The X for Duke. Get it out. And he wins it to himself. Hey! 6.35 left to play. Fowler to Soriero. Fresh hour has a step on Dupree. Dupree gets a check to play. Dukes won 17 of 31. Tesoriero pushes it forward, but Hips is there. What's the call? Fowler tied him up. Tesoriero pushed it forward last time. This time it's Fowler. 